Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier six game on Sacred Valley, and I am driving the British tier six artillery, the FV 304, commonly referred to as Bert or Bert the Avenger. It's one of the most amusing artillery in the game, absolutely. Now, look at this thing 72 kilometer an hour top speed, and it gets that top speed pretty decently quickly. It's tiny, which makes it easy to hide it. And uh, the gun arc, I think, is either the steep, is one of the very steepest, if not the steepest, in the game. Allowing you to shoot places that most of the artillery would find really, really difficult. And also, shoot from places they might find really difficult. So I'm just starting right here. And hmm, there's a wolverine down there. Well, you know, I was going to shoot it at Y, but this wolverine is, looks like he's might just sit in there in that bush. So we'll just pop a shot in there and see if we get him. Excellent. Well, it's nice to start off the game with a kill like that. So now I turn and I start looking to get shots on this corner over here. I'm fully expecting to see, yeah, a jumbo and eventually an OY on this corner, and I'm expecting an FQ out here both of them. So, yeah, fire quick snapshot, 3045. Doesn't hit, of course. Look for the jumbo. 3045 is trying to be aggressive towards my mediums over here. So, oh, just missing with that one. I really should be fully aiming these, but I thought he was going to move away, so I fired. Better small chance hit, but no chance. Oh, he stopped. And there's the OI coming out to play. Now, most of my team will have a real hard time killing him, so I decide, you know what? OI is the boss tank of the tier. He gets first attention. Oh, I thought he was going to move forward, just missing the result. Give me a lot of that, unfortunately. So now I'm holding a stack of tanks in here. If I was in the bigger artillery, this would be like, oh, it's splash damage, but no, I'm gonna burn. I'm basically going for direct hits. And I'm just gonna sit here and just beat on this OI and make his life as miserable as possible I keep him from carrying his team. Oh, I shouldn't have fired that one, but oh, uh, I might give you one of those squish. Looks like the OI's using the howitzer. So he only did 100 damage, but gave you one. T60 is going to charge again. Gets the Hetzer out. Now he's in this flanking position. Just, just watch him. He's just going to sit here and be like, nom nom baby tanks. Nom nom top tier tanks. He's going to try to shoot the OI. It's just not working. The OI is just too tough. So he has to keep moving. He has to try and watch this. He's like, I know the OI can't get presses on this car. I'm just going to go right by him. <laughs> he said he could use chase the 3485 while I batter on the OI. Trying desperately to uh, keep him alive. That's 100 wide, back 67, get 3045. The OY's only thing left. Trying really hard to finish him off. So close, right there. It's just stay, stay flat. The already's on him. Yeah, I need a little better shot. There we go. Just in time for an M36 to pop up. We oh, look. Maybe if he goes forward a little more. No, no, more. More, please. That's not where I need you to go. I took a, a, a shot, hoping it'll somehow arc into him, but nope, doesn't. And now he's in here. And I quickly realized I'm not going to be able to get a shot in there. So, yeah. Oh, he's backing up, though. Okay, I keep hoping to back up into my gun's flying, but it's not working. I back up some of them to get a better angle, but these two. Oops, I, I hit this rock here. Now watch this. I wonder why it goes. Lurk and the 67 turns and think it takes him out from the flank. Nice little bit of teamwork by those two. Still, my team, we're up by exactly one tank at the moment. So I race this way. Oh, there's a nice T down there. Turn it to Johnson. The 67's got him completely DPM down and drops him. So now I'm just pushing forward, hoping to help keep these two peace. Ooh, there's a key one over there, so I start backing up looking for a chance to shoot him. I'm trying to do a drive-by minimap right here. And I'm like, why am I not getting him? Why am I not getting him? Why am I not getting him? Uh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Why am I getting this stuff in the work? Oh, I hit Jackson and got knocked into the rock. Okay. Okay, well, we rewind. Rewind back up. Get a better lineup. Go back to looking at the KV-1. Fortunately, it's still a really tough shot. It's just in the spot where it's very hard for you to put it into gun arc in, but it looks like it's coming. And more and more. Go here. Keep backing, backing, backing. At some point, I should just hang off. Okay, it looks like it just went down a ridge. Go further back. 
There's the doctor. Oh, my sweet five. Take that. Yeah, look, showing a red line, I still need to score a hit on it because of the dirt. That's why. Back to that point. Right up there. All right, shot. Good. Okay, down to a pair of tank destroyers holding the flank. This team has the upper hand now. They've still got any combat tanks and artillery left. They race this way, hoping to get there in time to back them up. Fortunately, there's 200 Y one shots our Panzer 4C. Panzer 4C? Panzer, you know, the tank destroyer thing that just exploded. Uh, so now we just got a Jackson and me, and that, that's really not very good odds. But Bert, Bert is a carry arty. Bert can do it. Bert races forward. Looking for an angle. Looking for a shot. Oh gosh, a martyr just popped up right in the face of my Jackson. I decided to ignore the martyr. I really got to beat this guy's hit points down, make it easier for us to kill him. Gonna hit him. Sadly, it does not track him. There he is again. Oh, my Jackson. I needed him. All right, well, he's still driving forward. We'll let him destroy this building and then fire a shot. Put another good hit into him. Now I'm aiming at him, hopes that I will reload before his, I'll reload and shoot before his tracks come back up. Oh, he just, oh, yeah, that was a good hit. Okay. Well, I'm not staying here and letting him just bum rush me. I'm not sure I can kill him with my next shot. So I am going to run away. One bird, three enemies. One's a tier six medium, one's a tier six tank destroyer, one's a tier six artillery. Well, honestly, at first, worse odds have heard before, but this is still really, really tricky because that artillery, you know, let's look after that artillery, there was a Rudy in their base. I'm actually really surprised he hasn't put my, uh, my backside yet. My team manual begins doing a little backbiting in chat. I'm just sitting here just doing my best to ignore it. While Bert uses his mobility to start maneuvering to try and approach that SG-100Y from an unexpected angle. He's easily the biggest threat. He's got to go. The problem is Bert's view range is definitely kind of uh, mediocre. So I'm very fast and very small. I'm pretty sneaky myself, but this is distinctly a difficult contest for Bert. What I really want to have happen is I want the wonder why to poke around up there, say, ah, Bert left, and get on the cap circle. If he gets on the cap circle, there's a chance I can take him. Because it's going to take two. It's going to tell you, it might only kill him one shot, but I'm betting it's going to take two. So we're going to go up here. Maybe we'll spot Rudy coming up. Maybe we'll spot, I don't know. Ooh. This one's off the base. I really hope it's that SU-100Y, because he's got to die. So I start very carefully maneuvering forward. I'm really hoping I can spot him from inside to some concealment so that I can pull back so that I stay hidden and just drop a shell on his head. But even though it's a gigantic Russian tank destroyer, it's still Russian and therefore still has better than average camouflage. Oh crap, he spotted me. Alright. Maneuver, maneuver defensively. Maneuver. There he is. Okay. I got some hard cover between me and him, so I put it there. I fall back. Just tried to shoot through the cover. Okay. Got the hit. Cool. All right. So I move around because they did spot me. The artillery's definitely looking this way. He's probably looking to um, pick my ass now. Let's see. Maybe he really might be able to my ass. I got back. Wait. He just stopped capping. Oh, crap. He's rushing me. I guess I'm going to fire that shot. Whoa, artillery. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 Come on. Reload. 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 Oh, he missed. Thank God. Oh, God. He's going to try and ram me. Okay, he's gone. The artillery just fired, so I got a little time to get away. So I pick up the base and go zooming away for some cover. I have no idea where that Rudy is. I have no idea why he hasn't shown up yet. It's just, just, where is that Rudy? He's fretting me immensely. So that Rudy has any kind of hit points. <laughs> I might not be able to beat him. But I'm not going to stay here. That's for darn sure. I'm going to move away. Rely on my speed to allow me to get back and reset for Rudy or the Artie suddenly start attacking my base. 
ask my team what the Rudy's hit points are. Alright, try. I apparently didn't press the R key very hard. <laughs> Udi hit point? What? What's a Udi hit point? Anyways. The carry power of Burton. Artillery that can actually fire almost as fast as a regular tank. Carefully skirt along here. I'm just really hoping I just don't suddenly run headlong into the Rudy in a face to face duel. Still, there's no sign of him. Could he still be sitting on the base for some reason? Well, we'll find out, I guess. Where was last spotted? Somewhere up there. Yeah, that makes sense, right? To the niche to the high. It looks like it's more a little over here. No, that doesn't make sense. We'll shoot here. Yeah, nobody home. Alright. Well, there's only four minutes left on the clock. I can't afford to just hang around. So, yeah, I just want to write pings on the spot. Yeah, I know. What do you think I was just shooting at, buddy? So I'm just going to zoom this way. I'm going to go up there and see if he's there. If he is there. I have to wonder what he's doing there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here. There's a Rudy here. And... Oh, you poor thing. Oh, you poor dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're sorry. You're sorry. Alright, hide against the building. Do not want to be RD'd right now. It's just me and AMX 13F3. Alright, cool. One enemy left. Just the RD. It's a pair of tier 6 artilleries. I personally think Bert is the stronger of the two artilleries, but you never know. So I pull into a bush. Let my camo net do its thing. And because it's Bert, I kind of feel like, all right, you know, I'd be cool with the top gun right now, but I'm also okay with the cap win. So I yell out, come and get some. Uh, I'd be okay with, with having a fight here. Uh, Bert tends to win TD contest modes. Tends to. There's, you always have to remember, this is an artillery. And even though Bert's pretty accurate, so is the AMX. Just a little while just sitting here, patiently waiting. I've got time. He's a very fast arty, just like me. Yes, I'm yelling out challenges. I'm sitting here thinking this is such a bad idea. Oh, 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 there he is, and he stopped. Oh crap, six cents goes off. Alright, gotta get my gun on him. Must move. Shoot! This the torch also shoots. And I'm like, ooh, I have reload on this guy. Line it up, line it up, nice and careful like, nice and careful like, come on. And it falls short. Quick, quick move, and use the top down to help me dodge him so that he can't shoot me. Fortunately, he, <laughs> check out this turn speed, he turns faster than Bert does. I realize I don't have much choice. I got to turn, got to turn. And that time, RNG says, okay, fine, you can have it. Whew, that was close. <laughs> it was really, really close. Uh. Let's take a look at the post-game stats of that one. So, here is the post-game stats of the match you just watched. I uh, forgot to take actual screenshots, so hey, we uploaded it as a replay, and you get to check out the screenshots from there. So, pretty good stuff, you can see. Um, you know, you can see those the four unfortunate Wolverine just bleh, and I'm sorry, start. Um, take out the issue with the just, just really solid, solid stuff. Not every day you get to be a top gun, but Bert's particularly good at snagging kills thanks to his great fire. Take a look at the team stats, you'll see that even though I did really well, there was one other player on my team. Actually, a couple other players on my team did really, really well. But as you wondered why, the uh, Team 49 you saw fighting on the north end of the map. Both did a really good job, particularly the Team 49 was really treating this cool tier 5 TV the way I like to in situations like that. It's the deadliest medium in the game uh, when, you, when you've got it set up right. And with 1800 damage and 5 kills, he totally deserves his top spot for experience. Uh, I'd like to point out, they are at the top of the other team. Yes, it's that Rudy we saw on this side. He actually got a tank sniper for all those things. Um, did 600 damage, got 5 kills. Had he not rolled himself on his side, I dare say he would have won the match. But somehow, don't know how, but you didn't see it. He ended up being stuck on his side, and that was that. His team needed to be able to do something. I guess we're going to gone back and rescued him and then we brought him together. It was a very, very different battle. But, um, Thankfully for me, that is not good. Also, check out Tom Billy's. Look at that martyr. 
no tools for the TV and very nasty gun, did over a thousand damage, got a kill. Really, really good for him. I feel so sort of bad for the AMX 13 until we have the dead to right button. So he's to aim, I decide to snap it on our end. So, hey! That was a bad thing. It was a bit of luck. Take a look at the final stats 26 shots fired, 15 hits. Technically penetrated. It also says hits by HE shell before I all HE shell to get my splash damage. But splash of <laughs> But still, there's a lot of damage. Most of which you might notice from less than 300 meters. That's where Burke's really, really interesting. Bolt artillery get very, very high numbers, but it all is taking shots on the range. Burke, I'm seeing less than 300 meters from my target. Grading shells on the target. Grading fire. Apparently, at some point, I received some damage. I just guess it's like uh, Oh, yes, of course I did. I ran. I, 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 I tried to track the damage that I did. But I ran past her, and of course, we bumped into the camera. She was also in the camera. One base capture point, yeah. Two base defense points for smacking the issue of the guy. It was very nice. Traveling five kilometers from here towards the And of course, big credit making potential. So there's no huge gel run. So we get the regular BG on the convert. So, very, very satisfied with that match. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Good game, and good night.